to watch these important lessons, subscribe to DP Education's YouTube channel right now. Click on the bell icon to stay updated on the latest lessons. Sri Lanka's largest free online school, DP Education. Hello everybody. Um, this is, as we discussed, the first question of the 2017 Western Province third term. Western province, third term paper, third term. All right, the case. Using the following case, mm -hmm, as always, answer questions number one to ten. How many questions do you get in the first question? I mean, how many subparts do you get in the first question? Ten subparts. Right, so let's go ahead and check what is this about? What is the case about? The case. Wait. Ah, okay. Right. Sarani and one of her friends, Sasini, who worked in the textile industry, Started a new business on 1st, 1st, 2017 by introducing rupees 40,000 each as capital. So, two girls, huh? Two girls going at it. Going at it means going, going, going at a business. <laughs> uh, two girls going uh, at a business, new, new venture, new business venture. Um, starting, going to start uh, a business organization. Together, together, both of them, okay. Who's the first one? Sarani and her friend, Sasin. Okay, these are the two names. Sarani and Sasin. Sarani, Sasin. Similar names, huh? Yeah, nice names. Um, they have worked in textile business, I mean textile industry. So they are experienced, they have experience, these are the key points, they have experience, okay, they have experience in the industry. Uh, we will have to use these things as we go on with the questions, that's why I'm underlining or pointing out these things, huh? as always. Point out or uh, mark your key points in the case. They have started a new business 1st January 2017 by introducing rupees 40,000 each. All right, that is again something that you may go wrong. Something where you may go wrong. 40,000 is not the capital. 80,000 is the capital. Because 40,000 each. One person 40. The other person also 40. Invested. So 80. Okay. Uh, as capital. Good. In the name of Sarasi Mosquito Nets. Ah, these girls are producing what? They are producing. Uh, what are they producing? Napkins? No, they are producing nets. Mosquito nets. Madrudel. Yeah. Okay. Sarasi Mosquito Nets. Okay. Sarasi Mosquito Net products. To sell healthy and high quality mosquito nets. All right. Healthy, high quality. Good. In a rented out building in a densely populated area. Ah, that is also important. Building is rented out. Huh? And the, the, popul uh, the area is populated. What is the meaning of populated? A lot of crowd, a lot of uh, residents, residents, a lot of houses, households, everywhere, small, small, small gardens and small, small land plots. Huh? 
houses next to each other, densely populated. Area is uh, highly crowded, okay? It, it's a good point. Densely populated area. They agreed to sell their products using mobile vans. Also, they agreed to bank whatever the money earned by selling nets. They agreed to bank. Meaning of banking means they are putting the money in the bank, in the bank account. Whatever the money that they uh, collect every day by selling the mosquito nets, yeah, they are directly sending to the bank. The money is directly sent to the bank. I mean, not keeping the cash in their uh, cashier or in their pockets or anywhere, directly sending to the bank, okay? And uh, transact using checks. And they are, uh, all the transactions they are doing via checks. Increasing the financial strength, the uh, bank loan of 60,000 was obtained. Hmm. Interest rate 10%, okay, per annum. 1st January 2017. Good, good, good. Right. Very uh, useful information. Very useful information. Yeah. Yes. Very useful information. Yeah. Now let's go and see what they are asking us. What is the question? Oh, there are more things. Following information is available for the month of January. More information, children. More information. Following information available for the month of January. More information given here. Right. Cash purchases, 50,000. Traveling expenses, 20,000. Traveling expenses means the van is going no? Uh, from lane to lane, from house to house, the van is uh, going all over the place to sell the mosquito nets. Yeah, so there are expenses, traveling expenses for the van, 20,000. Purchase of machinery, building rent, they are renting a building, not their own building. Electricity, current bill given net, should pay. Cash sales, oh, it's a good sale. Good sale. Cash sale. Mm -hmm. Credit sales also there. Nightat, you couldn't know. That means credit sales also there. Okay. Credit sales also there. Deposited in the bank this much, 40,000. Okay. Machines are depreciated 5% per year per annum. This is the first question. Here we go. The first question, as we always do. Let's take from the first one. This is the case, children. This is the same case that we read out just now. Uh, so no worries. This is the, the second slide of information, the table. And this is the first question. I hope you can see this. Can see, right? Can see. First question, from a number one. What, no, name the type of business organization does, name the type of business organization Sarasi Mosquito Net Products belong to and state a strength that can be seen in this business. Okay, obviously Sarasi and uh, Sarani and Sasini started together together as sarasi mosquito nets sarani sasini two people getting together to start a business which means it's a partnership business no problem no doubt about that it's a partnership business partnership Basis, okay yeah so that is it and uh, they are asking to state that means to write strength also that can be seen in this business they are asking to write a strength also see S 
state a strength that can be seen in this business. We know that strengths are existing in the internal in the internal environment. Yeah, isn't it? That's right. Strengths are positives, positive factors existing in the internal business environment or inside the business, right? Not in the outside world. Outside world also there are positives, 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 plus points. Those are opportunities. Uh, opportunities and threats are in the external environment. Uh, here, strengths and weaknesses are in the internal environment. Yeah, strengths and weaknesses. So, uh, positive plus points in the internal environment. Strengths. Weaknesses are the negative, negative points. That is also in the internal environment. Strengths and weaknesses both are in the internal environment. We know that. Sarasi mosquito nets uh, is started by Sarani, this girl and Sasini, and both are experienced. It's already given. Why not? It's given. Hey, well, it's, it's here. Can't you see? What do you think? Here? It's given. See? Who worked in the textile industry? Got it? That is a strength in the internal environment of the owners, the two girls, right? Both are experienced. You can write that, uh, state a strength that can be seen in this business. Strength is this. I'll move to this side so you can see, right? The strength is actually strength is uh, owners owners having experience having experience experience or is having experience yeah yeah that is a, a strength next question mm -hmm. next question what is it Name the in institution in which the business name Sarasi Mosquito Net Products to be registered. Wow. Yeah, they're asking about the registration of the business name. Name the institution in which the business name Sarasi Mosquito Net Products to be registered. What is the institution? The local provincial council, right? Provincial Council of the area, okay. Uh, in that registered and relevant ordinance is the business names ordinance. You should remember these things. You should have these things in your mind, okay. You can't just go to the exam and sit down and uh, look up and think, you know, start thinking. Ah, hmm. You can't go like that. You can't go to the exam. You can go to the exam. You're going to, you know, mess up the paper. <laughs> okay. So go to the exam prepared. Have these things well memorized. Okay. Uh, institutions, uh, what is the institution which the business name should be registered? The provincial council of the local area. They are, wherever they are. Okay. Provincial Council of the area, of that area, of that province. Okay, you, can, you don't have to write area, the provincial council. Okay. Ah, right. Now tell me what is the registered and the relevant ordinance. 
No, that's not the ordinance. That is the 2000, number seven of 2007. It's company. It's for companies. <laughs> what do you think? That is the Companies Act number seven of 2007, right? This is the business names ordinance. Provincial Council and the relevant ordinance is the Business Names Ordinance. Business Names Ordinance. Uh, ordinance number, as I can remember, the business names ordinance is the uh, 1918 business names ordinance. Yeah, okay, next question. Second one, here we go. Name the type of the bank in which checks should be deposited. Easy questions, children. And the type of account that should be the open. Oh yeah. These are easy, so easy. So don't take time for this. Just write commercial banks. In which banks do you have the facility of? Do you get the facility of opening current accounts? Name the type of bank in which checks should be deposited. Checks should be, I mean, checks are given, the facility of checks are given for current accounts, okay? And the checks should be deposited in current accounts. Check, check facility is given for current accounts. Current accounts are opened in commercial banks only. Name the type of bank in which checks should be deposited. Commercial banks. Got it? Right? And the type of account? Current accounts, current accounts. It's current. Don't even go ahead and think of other, you know, unnecessary things. Checks are given for current accounts. Only. Current accounts. There we go. Current accounts. Good. Next question. Write. Write one advantage and one disadvantage of the business organization to which Sarsi Mosquito Net products belong. Why are they asking the same question now? Huh? They are asking the same. But it's like that. Now they ask about something here and they are asking about the same thing in another question. Now they are asking about one advantage and one disadvantage of the business organization to which Sarasi Mosquito Net belongs. Sarasi Mosquito Net belong to partnership businesses. The, the organization, business organization is partnership business. All right. And now asking for, now we have to write about what advantage of partnership businesses? Tell me. What profit can be? Really? Profit can be enjoyed alone? No. No. That is for sole tradership, sole tradership businesses. For partnership businesses, profit should be divided, divided. Among the partners, that is not an advantage. Okay, advantage I can, uh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Who said that? That's right. I can uh, give you the main advantage. Maybe one of the main advantages is ability to collect more capital. Can collect 
more capital that is one of the main advantages main main advantages can collect more capital mm. because more partners are there that means more people putting in money for the business and the capital in the business will be higher than uh, sole tradeship businesses mm -hmm. okay can collect more capital what else what else ah only one advantage needed no problem we have written the advantage uh huh now come up with a disadvantage this is the advantage this is the advantage Now come up with an uh, uh, with with a disadvantage. Just now I told before I wrote this. Just few seconds, maybe 20, 30 seconds ago, I, I told you, profit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About about profit. About profit. Profit should be divided, and I told you that is not an advantage for partnership businesses. That is a disadvantage for partnership businesses. You can write that. Write it. Let's write it. Hmm? Disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Disadvantage is what? Profits should be divided divided among the partners no? so you can't keep the profit all for you all the profit you can keep yeah that is a disadvantage um that's that let's move on next we have what what is the type of retail business where goods are sold in mobile vehicles? Easy, easy questions. What is the type of business organization where goods are sold in mobile vehicles? You don't say mobile vehicles. You say mobile, mobile vehicles, mobile, 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 mobile vehicles, mobile vehicles, mobile vehicles. Yeah, mobile vehicles. What is the type of retail business where goods are sold in mobile vehicles? Mobile. Mm. What is it? Small, fixed. No, no, no. Not fixed. Hey, how many types of retailers did you learn about? How many types of retailers did you learn about? Tell me. How many types of retail businesses did you learn about in the lesson? First lesson. The first lesson. Trade and supporting services. Trade and supporting services. The, the very first lesson. Hmm? How many retailers did you learn about? Three. Okay. Three. Name the three. No, no, you tell me. I'm doing a paper. I'm discussing a paper here. Huh? And, and you are the ones who are going for the examination, not me. Right? You should know the answer. <laughs> tell me the types of retailers. LSR, large-scale retailers. Fixed LSRs. Fixed large-scale retailers. The, the three letters I, I always... I always tell my students to remember the name uh, with the three letters. LSR. LSR. I'll just write it. LSR. LSR. That means large scale retailers. Then we have SSR. 
small scale retailers ssr ssr small scale retailers fixed both are fixed both are fixed 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 means they are uh, having fixed places one building or one shop uh, what I mean by one shop, one shop what I mean. They are having a, a, a stable, a fixed shop or more shops. All are fixed, established. Okay, that is what I mean by fixed. LSR means large scale retailers. They have yeah now you're asking large scale retailers who are large scale what large scale mm -hmm. don't give me that expression all right guys large scale retailers we have we have learned these things in the first very first lesson in your grade 11 book grade 11 syllabus first lesson all right you have to study yeah yeah i know that few people are saying the right answer lsrs means supermarkets these are supermarkets. Don't act like you don't know. Why act like you don't know? Why? You know. You have forgotten. That's the problem. These are the supermarkets. Peels, Cargill's, Apico, Glomark, Laugh supermarkets. These are supermarkets. Of course, they have fixed outlets. Fixed outlets, not one number of outlets like sometimes in one city in colombo area only there are like 20 30 super, uh, supermarkets from one um, company like 20 30 kegels outlets 20 30 kegels outlets more than i think 30 kegels are everywhere kegels outlets are everywhere but all those outlets are fixed in one building Right, they don't go like Tum Pang vans, no. <laughs> Everywhere by lane, every lane, through every road, house to house, they don't go. No? Kagil's supermarkets are they are they like set up on a bus or a lorry? No, they are fixed in in a fixed place. So those are fixed large scale retailers and small scale retailers are also fixed. But there is another variety, another type of small scale retailers. Those are small mobile retailers, SMR. Small scale mobile retailers, right? See, they agreed to sell their products using mobile vans. Mobile vans. That means they are not having a, a, a fixed established building. Uh, a showroom, an outlet? No, they're not having a, a, a shop or an outlet in a fixed place. No, they are selling the products using a mobile van. You know, lane by lane, road through uh, through every road and through every lane. They are going to house houses to uh, to every house, right? Like that. So, what is the management function? No, what is the type of the retail business? It is small scale mobile mob, mobile mobile retail retailers. Okay. Type of retail business where goods are sold in mobile vehicles. That is it. that is the question they're asking, right? But I, I explained the entire section of that lesson about the types of retailers. See, well, that is my purpose. If you uh, reminded, remembered the subject matter, 
and the section about retailers that is the purpose of this effort of my effort okay retailers lsr ssr and smr smr means small mobile retail smr okay that is what i have written here same thing next question What is the management function to which the supply of healthy and high quality mosquito nets belong to? Hmm. What is the management function? Mm -hmm. Now you have to think for a while. Uh -huh. What is the management function? What are the four management functions? What are the four functions? Tell me. Functions of management. That's right, yeah, good. Planning, organizing, leading, controlling. Four management functions. What function, to what function, which function? The supply of healthy and high quality mosquito nets below. Is it planning? No, I have given you keywords, so many keywords to uh, figure out. Uh, given cases, given information, to figure out given inf information and to sort out to which function they belong to. I have given you keyword. Decided to, determined uh, to, designed uh, these things always belong to planning. Okay decided to decided to produce mosquito net determined they, they they determined to start a mosquito net business determined they designed a way to sell uh, or to produce and sell these all these keywords are for planning okay yeah for organizing uh, Provided resources, purchased and hired and recruited and uh, distributed resources. So this, this is obviously, this is belonging to manage, which management function? Supplying healthy and high quality mosquito nets. Obviously, it belong, it's belonging to organizing. Not planning, it's organizing. Which management function organize? Okay. Next, with reference to the given case, mention two causes which increase the sale of mosquito nets of Sarasin mosquito net bees. Huh. With reference to the given case, this is the given case. Yeah. Always, you have to refer to the given case. Uh, with reference to the given case, mention two causes, reasons, okay, uh, like causes or reasons, whatever, which increase the sale of mosquito nets, sale of mosquito nets, of Sarasi mosquito net business. Mm. Now, one thing is, Causes. What causes what cause to uh, increase the sale of mosquito nets? One such reason is the populated area, densely populated area. If there are more crowd, more houses, households, more families living in these houses, crowded area. They need more things. They are consuming more things. Now one would think like, oh, so how can one family use a two mosquito nets? Really? Really? 
if in one family there are 10 children, do you think one mosquito net is enough? Common sense, right? So <laughs> if the area is crowded, more houses, more households, uh, more families in one house, they need more mosquito nets. They are consuming more things. That is one reason. Okay. And I see another. Well, you have to go through the case and you have to read through the case and you can find more answers. You can find more than one answer. Of course. I can, I can actually find, I can actually give two. I'll give you two. First is this, uh, the, the area is densely populated. Second thing is, uh, healthy and high quality mosquito nets, they are, they are giving healthy and high quality mosquito nets. Not low quality, not uh, the traditional mosquito nets, which are not very healthy. They are giving healthy, high quality. That is also one reason to sell more. Okay. Yeah, you can write. Uh, the area being being densely populated area being densely populated. P lay densely populated. Next, providing healthy, high quality. <laughs> yeah, who, who who doesn't like to buy a, a, a high quality product for a reasonable price? Well, that is one of the main objectives of the consumer. One of the main objectives of every consumer to obtain high quality products at a reasonable price. That is, you can write that as an answer, not not to this. You might get a question. What could be the objective? Or, or what are the objectives of uh, consumers? You can get such a question. If you get such a question. If you get such a question, the answer is... Um, obtaining or buying high quality products high quality products at a reasonable price not a high price huh? and not a cheap price also sometimes when the price is cheaper maybe that uh, could mean that that might uh, you know give us the idea of Give us the give us. If the price is very cheap, that might give the consumers the idea. The, the products also must must be cheap. Yeah, there's something like that. So not a very cheap price. Not to obtain goods, high quality goods, high quality goods at a cheap price. Obtain high quality goods for a reasonable price. That is the objective of consumer. So, providing healthy and high quality goods that will increase their sale, of course. Okay. Which means, children, we have already written two, mentioned two causes. 
which increase the sale. Mention two courses. Yeah, which increase the sale. There you go. Two courses. Ah, this is the next question. Name two prime entry books business should maintain. Mm. Uh -huh. Two prime entry books this business should maintain. Two prime entry books. Well, well, well. If cash transactions are there, cash book should be maintained. Cash book should be, must be. Cash book must be maintained. Cash book you can write. Oh, bank account also you can write. Because this girls are these girls are you know they are uh, <laughs> determined you know they are they have agreed to open a bank account and do transactions using checks see uh, see bank whatever money earned by selling nets blah 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 see uh, earned by selling nets to bank the money and to tr do transactions through checks because that sentence is there you must write bank accounts and another one credit sales oh ho, ho, ho. there are credit sales omg huh? there are credit sales there are credit sales credit sales means the sales day book the sales journal must be there Sales journal, credit sales are entered, written, 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 or recorded in this sales journal. Got it. Or you can say uh, day book also, sales day book. Oof. Only two, right? We wrote two. Next question. Write down the accounting equation as at 1st January 2017. Okay, I'll just write the accounting equation simply. Assets equals capital minus liabilities, right? Now you can, uh, accounting equation with values, you can uh, add values, value of assets, value of capital. Yeah, why, what's the problem? What's the problem? It's wrong, is it? It's wrong. Who noticed that? You are a smart girl, smart boy. If you notice that, this is somewhere some children go wrong. Assets is not equal to capital minus liability. Capital plus liabilities. It should be capital plus liabilities. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's equal to capital plus liabilities. Okay. Now uh, add the values. Add the values. Worked in the textile industry, started a new business first January by introducing 40,000 each. Oh, yes. Uh, introducing rupees 40,000 each as capital. 40,000 each. One person is putting 40, other person is putting 40, which means it's 80. Which means the capital is 80. You can write 80,000 here as well as under assets because the money which is invested by the owners. Is that is cash? Cash is an asset to the business. Uh huh. Eighty. Eighty. Good. Um. What else? Introducing uh, forty thousand each as capital. Okay. 
okay name of sarasi mosquito net products they started to uh, to sell healthy high quality nets nets rented building okay okay everything is okay what about uh, any other transactions agreed to sell their products using mobile lines also agreed to bank the money earned by selling too much information right to increase the financial strength bank loan of 60000 whoa okay don't miss this one bank loan of 60000 obtained per annum interest 10% per annum 1st january that is also 1st january so here 60 uh, as the next transaction, I'll, I will put 60. And that 60 also should go under assets. Yeah, because 60,000 is obtained as a bank loan. And what comes to the business as a loan? Cash. Loan, loan. Taking a loan means getting more cash, cash, money for the business activities or for the expansion of the business. So money comes into the business, that is an asset. But the money was not invested by the owner, which means it doesn't go to capital. It was obtained by a bank as a loan, so it goes to liabilities. Right? Easy peasy. So simple things, explaining again and again. No need to explain these things. We have done these things, right? Take the addition. 60,000. 80,000. Here also 80,000. Here also 60,000. Put the <laughs> zeros. Now, 100 and... 40,000 here on this side capital 80,000 plus liability 60,000 voila that is the accounting equation as at first general next write down oh this is the seventh question children seventh question each each sub part gets two marks okay you know that um which means uh you can't spend more than five six minutes huh for each sub part can't spend more than five minutes Hmm? For two marks, uh, for for one mark, how how many minutes can you uh, take for one mark? Hmm? For one mark, how many minutes can you take? In the business and accounting side, it's second paper. I'm asking, just have this understanding. If you don't have this understanding, understand this right now. For one mark. You get how many minutes? Two minutes. Two minutes. Not more than two minutes, okay? Not even two minutes. Don't take two minutes for these questions. For one mark, don't take two minutes. Which means for two marks, don't take five minutes. You understand? Especially for these questions. These are easy questions. Um, yeah. So, write down the double entry to record the bank loan obtained on 1st January with values. Ah. Write down the double entry. Oh, okay. Double entry. So, just a debit and a credit. 
accident. It is just a debit and credit. Uh, how much is the bank loan? Bank loan. Here it is. Bank loan is sixty thousand. Was obtained at an interest rate of ten percent per annum. Ah, was obtained at interest rate of ten percent. Hmm. It's it's uh, sixty thousand. Yeah. Which means cash coming into the business, cash coming into the business, cash book debit, and it's a liability from the bank. Uh, so bank loan credit, cash book debit, not bank account, huh? not bank account credit, bank loan credit, cash book debit. We can write it where? Here. Mm -hmm. Right here. Cash book, debit, 60,000. Well, don't have space there. Let me turn around. I'll write it here. Cash book. Debit sixty thousand bank loan account credit bank loan credit sixty thousand. There you go. This is the double entry. That is the double entry. Double 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 entry for the bank loan, okay, bank loan. Second, B part. Calculate the bank loan interest and depreciation on the machinery for the month of January. Calculate the bank loan interest. Yeah. Now, children, now, 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 calculate the bank loan interest. You should take the bank loan amount first, 60,000. The bank loan which was obtained and check the interest rate how much is the interest rate it is here where is it it's here bank loan sixty thousand uh-huh uh-huh. Oh, okay. Bank loan sixty thousand uh, obtained at an interest rate of ten percent per annum. That is where you go wrong. Per annum. Per annum. Per annum means ten percent for the whole year. Ten percent for the whole year. If you take 10 over 100, answer is 6,000. This is for the annum for the whole year. Yeah. Which means you should divide this by 12 to take per month, per month interest. Because they are asking bank loan interest. Here, bank loan interest. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. Let your lines be straight. Here, they are asking the bank loan interest and depreciation for the month. See, for the month. For the month. For the month. That's why you divide by 12. Okay. And the answer is how much? 6,000 divided by 12, 500. That's for the month of January. Yeah. That's for the month of January. 500, only that. Okay. 
after dividing by 12 we took this took this answer that is for the interest for month of january next depreciation for the month of january how much is the depreciation first of all to take depreciation you must uh, take the value of the assets no? value of the asset um they agreed to sell their products using mobile vans they agreed to bank whatever deposit in the bank money earned by selling using checks to increase the financial strength a bank loan of 60,000 was obtained interest rate is 10 percent we have taken all that but now we need machines here that is here we need machines that is here see purchase of machinery 60,000 oh that is also 60,000 okay machinery the value of machinery also 60,000 why is that I don't know they have given that machinery 60,000 okay no problem so 60,000 again into depreciate 5% per year again not 10 over 100 it is 5 over 100 and the answer is how much 3000 3,000 again divided by 12 how much 250 is your answer yeah what else that is it yeah it's not that hard it's not that difficult just remember this huh? the interest rate is given for the annum for the whole year so as the uh, depreciation depreciation also is given for for the year okay that's it we are going ahead eighth question what is the cash in hand as at 31st january what is the cash in hand let's rule the cash book rule the cash book that's it I'm just gonna rule, I'm just gonna draw a simple T format, okay? Not a complex one. And that is the cash book. Cash book. Got it. How do the cash book? Um, how does it start? It always starts with the opening balance. What is the opening balance? The 40,000 each. Capital introduced by the owners. Sarasi and Sasini. 40,000 each. Which means 80,000 in cash came to the business as capital first January then uh-huh they agreed to sell their products using mobile vans also they agreed to bank whatever the money earning, earning. okay so this should be uh, not the cash book this should be the bank book okay it doesn't matter anyway and took the bank loan 60,000 cash coming into the business as a bank loan also on the 1st of January that also happened on 1st of January loan okie dokie 
Then we have the expenses here. Cash purchases. We have the expenses. One, cash purchases, 50,000. Just write purchases, 50. Thousand. Uh huh. Now it's easy for you. Traveling expenses twenty thousand. Just write traveling twenty thousand. Purchase of a machine. Machinery sixty thousand. This is the cash book, children. Cash book or the bank book. Okay, all the cash incomings to the debit side, all the cash outgoings payments to the credit side. Yeah, which means, uh, my dear, my guys and girls, you should put all the inflows, cash receivings, debit, and all the outflows, cash payments to the credit do not think about whether they are uh, relevant for this accounting period or whether they are you know set purchases or capital investments nothing matters in the cash book you have to consider those things when you prepare the profit or loss statement asset purchases don't go as an expense capital investments don't come as an income that is for the profit or loss statement, not for the cash book. Got it? Okay. Then uh, purchase of machinery sixty thousand. Purchase of machinery sixty thousand. Building rent four thousand. Building rent four thousand. Electricity six thousand. Tick them. Cash sales, hundred thousand coming in. Cash coming in, hundred thousand. Wait. Hundred thousand. Sales. Hundred thousand. It is also taken, deposited in the bank. Okay. From cash, it's going out. From cash, deposited in the bank. From cash, it's going out. From cash, it's going out. It's going out from cash. Which means, again, I'm going to change this name. But it doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter here. Whatever the name that you put doesn't matter, but it should be it should be the cash book. Should be the cash book because they're asking about the cash balance here. Cash in hand, <clears throat> cash in hand. Yeah, forty thousand going to the bank going out of the cash. Forty thousand. Is that it? You have to check. You have to check. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. All the information we have taken from that case and from this table, all the information has been taken. That's it. Machine is, uh, machinery depreciation is not taken to the cash book because it's not a uh, monetary expense. It's a non-monetary expense. What about the interest? Bank loan interest? They say, see, 10% bank loan interest. And we calculated that here. This is the... Uh, bank loan interest and depreciation of machinery. 
This is bank loan interest. Loan interest here. Yeah, loan interest here. And down here, depreciation. Depreciation here. Hmm. What about this? You don't take depreciation. You don't take this. You don't. No, no, no. You don't take this. You don't take this because it's a non monetary expense. You don't take the depreciation, okay? To the cash book. No. But the loan interest must be taken only if it is paid. Only if it is paid in cash. Now, in this case, they haven't mentioned that it is paid in cash anywhere. Building rent paid is given, electricity paid is given. Uh, cash purchases paid for cash, uh, paid for purchases is given. But paid for, paid for bank loan interest is not given. Not paid, so we don't take it. No. You can, what? Balance this account. And you're going to get the cash balance. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, da, okay. How much is the total in the debit side? Take the total in the debit side here. 80,000 here, 160,000, 160,000, 160,000, 240,000 here, 240,000 here. Take it to the credit side too, put the same total, 240, and take the total of the credit side. 50 plus 50, one hundred ten, one hundred thirty, one hundred forty, one hundred eighty. One hundred eighty thousand comes in the credit side. The total, okay? That should be subtracted. That should be subtracted from this two hundred eighty minus one hundred eighty thousand minus one hundred eighty. 240 minus 180. Zeros are the same. Zero minus zero, zero. 60,000. 60,000 is the balance. Balance carried down. 60,000. That is your cash balance at the end of the month. That's it. Bye-bye. Next question. Ninth part. What are they asking? What is the net profit for the month of January? Okay, this is the question some people go crazy about. You know, they can go crazy about this question. Are you so this net profit calculate kind of, you know, don't worry about it. That's an easy way. Just net profit, if you if you want net profit, just look at the total sales income and subtract the cost of sales. Okay, no need of uh, ruling statements or whatever, whatever that you do when you calculate profit or loss uh, in the profit or loss statement. No need to do a statement. Just take sales income. Sales income. Sales income. Sales income. Or sales revenue. How much is it? 
you have cash sales here credit sales here hundred and sixty thousand hundred sixty thousand hundred and sixty thousand now take the purchases the purchases cash purchases fifty thousand is here cash purchase fifty thousand is here fifty thousand cash purchase fifty thousand is here mm. uh -huh. that's it right Sarani and Sazini started a new business first January introduced uh, 40,000 each as capital that is not coming as an income I told you before even F capital introduction 40,000 each as capital name is Sarasi mosquito net selling mosquito nets in a rented building um, selling uh, using mobile vans they agreed to take a bank loan bank loan is not taken as a expense or income it's a bank loan okay uh, money coming in cash coming in entered in the cash book but not in the profit or loss I explained this before uh, bank loan is 60,000 but bank loan interest must be taken interest must be taken okay interest must be taken right sales income 160 let's take the expenses total expenses purchases purchases expenses expenses purchases 50,000 Purchase 50,000 Took it Traveling expenses 20 Traveling 20 20,000 purchase of machinery you don't take I told you it's an asset purchase assets don't go to profit or loss purchase of machinery don't go building rent 4 electricity 6 rent and electricity I'll take as 1 4 plus 6 is 10 rent and electricity 6 plus 4 10 cash sales already taken credit sales already taken deposit deposited in the bank it's a cash transfer to the bank now is this is that all is this the set of expenses <laughs> no there are other expenses which we calculated which did not take to the cash book other expenses what these expenses one and two these expenses one bank loan interest to depreciation depreciation 500 250 must take both must take both 500 and 250 500 250 you you know the 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 descriptions 500 is the bank loan interest 250 is the depreciation okay now take the total take the total take the total take 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 the total how much is the total? Do your calculation. Hmm? 50, 70, 80, 
80,750. 50 plus 20, 70,000 plus 10, 80, 80 plus 750, 80,750. Now you minus and you get the profit. Yeah, it's 250. Seventy-nine two fifty, right? See the net profit. Profit of the month. Profit of the month. Seventy-nine two fifty. That's it. Next question. Calculate the value of equity. That is another question. Calculate the value of equity. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Oh, oh, all right. That's easy. That's easy. When you get the net profit, the, 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 the equity or the capital is easy. Because we know that if the opening capital is given, if the opening capital is given, opening capital is 80,000, we, we know that, opening capital is 80,000, because 40,000 uh, invested by each person, so 40 into 2, 80. If the opening capital is given, and if you know the profit, or the, the, the profit for the period, you can calculate the closing capital. Profit for the period is how much? $79,250. Now you calculate the closing capital, no problem. Easy as that. There we go. Closing capital. Uh huh. Value of equity as at 31st. 31st means closing capital. Uh -huh. Equity as at 31st December. That is the closing capital. Zero, zero, Hundred fifty nine thousand two hundred fifty. That is the closing capital. Voila. That's it. Easy, right? Because we know that there are only four instances, four situations. No, there's eight here. Four. Only four situations which can uh, increase or decrease equity. First two increases equity. Next, these two decreases equity. Next two decreases equity. Um, what are the first two? Additional capital invested will increase equity. If not, incomes or profits will increase equity. So that is why we added the profit to increase the opening equity and get the closing equity. Incomes or profits increase the equity. These two which decrease equity? Drawings decrease equity and losses, expenses or losses decrease equity. Drawings and expenses or losses decrease equity. There is no loss here, there is a profit as we calculated right here. There is a profit. Uh -huh. And that's why we added this profit. To the equity. Mm -hmm. That's it. Are we done? Are we done? No, we're not done. This is the ninth question. 
That's one more. What is the net book value of non-current assets as at 31st January? Net book value of non-current assets. How to calculate net book value? How to calculate net value or net book value? Hmm? How to do this? Hmm? How to do this? Net book value. Cost minus depreciation. The, the accumulated depreciation, total depreciation. Right? What is the cost? Uh huh. Net book value of non current assets. Net book value of non current assets. Non-current assets. Net book value of non-current assets. Mm -hmm. Oh come on, it's easy. Just take the non-current asset. What is the non-current asset? Uh, this one. The machinery. The machinery is the non-current asset here. 60,000. That is the cost. 60,000. What is the accumulated depreciation? Total depreciation. The, the, the added up value of depreciation for the entire period which the non current assets have been in use. But this non current asset, this machinery was only used for one month. Only one month. For the month of January. And we know how much is the depreciation for the month of January. Here we go, depreciation, see? 250 for the month of January. We took 5% uh, because the 5% depreciation, uh, percentage of depreciation is given. We took it here and calculated this amount and divided by 12 to get the monthly depreciation and it is 250. Let's minus this 250 from the cost. Yep. Here we go. Take it. Do your math. Take the answer. How much is it? 59,750. Okay. That's that. Uh -huh. Net net book value of machineries. That is the net book value right here. All right, children. Uh, that is the last question of the first, last part of the first question. This is 2017, Western Province, third term, second paper. Or in other words, this is the 2017, Western Province, third term, paper, second paper, paper two. In that, we finished the first question. The compulsory question, which has 10 some parts and which will give you 20 marks. 20 marks. All right. I hope you will be able to earn entire 20 for your paper um, in your paper for the first question. Likewise, children, uh, the, the way to do, the way to work out the, 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 the answers and uh, the simple methods, the easy methods, and in places where you need explanations, I have given all that in these discussions, these paper discussions. This paper, we are going to finish in the next upcoming videos. Um, in the next video, we are going to take business studies questions. Business studies questions, question number two and three and four. Question number two, three, and 
four. Do get together and work out these things. Let's solve these problems. Let's finish these papers. I hope you'll be with me. Uh, until the next video, do your work. Be good, always. Thank you. Bye bye. To watch these important lessons, subscribe to DP Education's YouTube channel right now. Click on the bell icon to stay updated on the latest lessons. Sri Lanka's largest free online school, DP Education.